buttering up, mastering the art of flattery in English. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a flavorful English idiom that's as rich as it is interesting. Buttering someone up. If you've ever wondered how food-related terms find their way into everyday language and take on entirely new meanings, you're in for a treat. Let's spread the knowledge and get right into the essence of this expression. To butter someone up doesn't involve any actual butter. Instead, it's a vivid way to describe the act of flattering someone, often excessively, to gain their favor or approval. The phrase conjures the image of spreading butter on bread, suggesting that flattery is laid on thickly, smoothly, and generously, just like butter on toast. The phrase, butter up, has quite an interesting backstory. It is believed to have originated from an ancient Indian custom, where throwing balls of clarified butter, or ghee, at the statues of gods was meant to seek favor and forgiveness. Over time, this concept of using something smooth and pleasing to seek favor translated into the figurative language we use today. Understanding an idiom also means knowing how to use it in everyday conversations. Here are some examples. Before asking for a day off, Kate decided to butter up her boss by complimenting his management style. Jason is always trying to butter up his teachers by turning in assignments early and praising their lectures. Notice how in both cases, the person is using flattery as a prelude to a request or to maintain a good relationship. While buttering someone up is generally seen as harmless and sometimes even humorous, it's important to understand the cultural nuances. Overdoing it might make the flattery seem insincere or manipulative. The key is to strike a balance and ensure that your compliments are genuine and well-timed. Mastering idioms like buttering someone up can add flavor and color to your language skills, making your conversations richer and more engaging. Remember, like with actual butter, it's all about using the right amount, not too little, but not too much either. We hope this video has spread some light on this interesting expression. Keep practicing, and you'll soon be buttering up your English conversations with confidence.